We have ignition and liftoff. The Leaving Falcon Florida this morning, a rocket Dragon with supplies for the International Space, Space Station. Station. On board water, and food, Nico, and a new crew member called Simon. I am the first interactive crew assistant in space. Simon, seen here before heading into space, stands for Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, a floating robot which can see, hear, talk and learn, mimicking a human. Should I contact the ground station? If the trial goes well, scientists here think artificial intelligence could be the future of space exploration. We are human, we have feelings and thoughts and we can make decisions but the robots could do all the other stuff um, or, you know, sort of regulating temperatures, um, having all the information stored in their brains that, that the humans sort of don't need to keep in their brains, um, maintenance of, of the space stations or the habitats that they're living in. We've seen human-like space robots well, before, but only on overload. screen. What happens if I do get an overload? You'll explode. Long-suffering Holly in Red Dwarf and disobedient HAL 9000 in the 1968 film classic, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Open the pod bay doors, HAL. I'm afraid I can't do that. Simon, on the other hand, should be highly responsive. We hope that he do a kind of mood detection in order to react to, to the yeah, moods of the astronaut. Maybe you don't answer the, the question the third time in the same way, or things like this, or maybe he tries to motivate the astronaut a bit more. If it does get irritating, there's an off button. Great, let's play your favorite hits. Not a luxury poor old Simon has for its human colleagues. Olivia Kinsley, News at 10.